I don't know if I can hang out with someone who I only know in real life. Shouldn't we IM or MORC a little first? Um, uh, oh, I know we could sneak down to the library sub-basement and have a picnic in the old sewer tunnel. We could attack some rats while we're down there. What? I just did that last week. How do you even know about those tunnels? Why, it's like we've had a Vulcan mind meld. We both lost our virginity to Scotty Peters. Our favorite fruit is the kumquat. Have you been reading my website? I wouldn't say reading as much as ogling. Okay, look, I, I may have spent over 48 hours straight staring at it. Maybe it was because I did a search for hot young nerd chicks. After a few weeks of waiting for that to happen again, I started to come back because you gave out details of your sex life. I feel like you're me if I had been a chick. Wow. I have my own creepy stalker fanboy. Do you think I'm some creepy pervert? According to local sexual harassment laws, yes. <laughs> Oh god. Yes, I would. Not a pet me another $15. Oh, what a predicament I'm in. I have here two choco mocha cream lattes. Yet there's only one of me. If only someone would aid me in this horrible predicament. Did you say choco mocha cream latte? Yeah, I'll take it off your hands. Those are, like, my favorite. Really? It's good to find a woman who shares my refined tastes. You know, this morning I was at home reading, and as I poured through my much dog-eared copy of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, I... Really? That's my favorite book. Why, yes it is. But uh, don't get the impression that I'm some bookish sort. You know, with pocket protectors and chess clubs who never gets laid. I also spend time with my other interests, eating blueberry cereal and buying Dukes of Hazard lunchboxes off eBay. Okay, that's a bit too familiar. Do I know you? Carnally? <laughs> Not yet. Hey, uh, you uh, want to go somewhere and talk about it? Uh, like a date? A date? I don't know. You don't seem too weird, but isn't this a bit sudden? I, I don't know if I can hang out with someone who I only know in real life. Shouldn't we IM or MORPG a little first? Um, uh, oh, I know we could sneak down to the library sub-basement and have a picnic in the old sewer tunnels. I'm getting a wee bit hot just thinking about it. What? I just did that last week. How do you even know about those tunnels? It's like I've known you all my life. We both have a crush on Bondre the Giant. Our favorite fruit is the kumquat. Have you been reading my website? Web? What? What do you... Who? What? Okay, look, I, I may have spent over 48 hours straight staring at it. And maybe it was because I heard that you sometimes left your webcam on while you were changing. After a few weeks of waiting for that to happen again, I started to come back because I really liked reading what you wrote. I feel like you're me if I had been a chick. Wow. I have my own creepy stalker fanboy. Is that so wrong? Kinda. But I guess it's sort of cute. At least you have the balls to ask me out. All my guy friends want to bang me, but they're too scared to even ask. We all make mistakes. What can I say? I mean, there was this one time, this the band camp. Yeah, you need to get a reference for that one. Uh, Jesus Christ, what time is it? It's fucking one in the morning, Jesus. Jesus! Fuck. Fuck. Oh, wow. Is that a Bondre the Giant poster? I think so. You know, I keep telling the janitor to stop putting up posters in my room. I used to have such a crush on him as a kid. After my dad took me to WrestleMania, I wrote Morgan Loves Bondre like a million times on my Trapper Keeper. Really? My grandpa always said he had a dream where he was a peanut vendor, and he and Bondre really hit it off, and he said Bondre the Giant was the best lay he'd ever had. <laughs> If your grandfather was a peanut vendor, what was he doing in the wrestler's locker room? Okay, okay, so the whole stalker thing kind of runs in the family. Anyway... Did you know Bondre was over seven feet tall? Seven foot two inches, 540 pounds. He suffered from Melville Allelby, a rare disease that causes nearby plants to burst into song. <laughs> <laughs> More than any man alive. See, me and Bondre are brothers, separated at birth. Uh, 
Don't you mean were? You don't believe me? There's no way a phone call can be faked. Hello, Bondre the Giant. Uh, pretend you know me. Oh, you're in the locker room with my grandpa right now. Tell the bulkster he owes me licensing rights for stealing my moves. <laughs> He's telling Bo Bogan to get a life. <laughs> Bogan sounds really mad. Well, I don't think she's buying. I love you too, Snookums. Yeah, well, I'm almost out of minutes. Bye-bye. Larry, I hate to break it to you, but Bondre the Giant's been dead for like ten years. Oh, yeah? Then who was I talking to on the phone? Oh, I don't know. No one? Why don't you talk to him? And tell him he's dead. I bet he'd lurch out of his grave and show you just where he puts his peanuts. Come on, Larry. It's not like I'd fall for that sad little trick anyway, even if he was alive. Trick? Oh, you thought I was trying to trick you? Wow. You really are stupid, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, let's try this. Now that I'm not drunk at all. Oh, wow. Is that a Bondre the Giant poster? I think so. Well, it was up here when I moved in. I used to have such a crush on him as a kid. After my dad took me to WrestleMania, I wrote Morgan Loves Bondre like a million times on my Trapper Keeper. Really? My grandpa, he was a peanut vendor at WrestleMania 4, and he went into the shower there, and he said Bondre the Giant's wiener was like a foot long. If your grandfather was a peanut vendor, what was he doing in the wrestler's locker room? Okay, when I say peanut vendor, you need to look for the double meat, okay? Anyway... Did you know Bondre was over seven feet tall? And he had a posse, and he weighed more than my Aunt Mabel. See, he had a really bad eating problem. A rare disease that makes you really tall and big and kick a lot. You sure know a lot about Bondre the Giant. More than any man alive. See, me and Bondre are brothers, separated at birth. Uh, don't you mean were? No, we still are. I'll call him on the phone right now. Yeah, yeah and Dredd, is your daddy home? Oh, you and Bo Bogan are wrestling right now, huh? Tell the bulkster I accept his apology for that time he got mad that I was so much cooler than him. <laughs> He's telling Bo Bogan you like him. <laughs> Bogan sounds really mad. Oh, really? That's nice, Bondre the Giant. I think you're my best friend, too. <laughs> I've got a lady caller. Bye-bye. Larry, I hate to break it to you, but Bondre the Giant's been dead for like ten years. That's a lie! Then who has my mom been spending all that time with? Oh, I don't know. No one? Why don't you talk to him and tell him he's dead? I bet he'd take the first flight over here and show you just where he puts his peanuts. Come on, Larry. It's not like I'd fall for that sad little trick anyway, even if he was alive. Really? I thought it was working. Wow. You really are stupid, aren't you? Oh, well. <clears throat> oh, wow. Is that a Bondre the Giant poster? I think so. Well, it was up here when I moved in. <laughs> I used to have such a crush on him as a kid. After my dad took me to WrestleMania, I wrote Morgan Loves Bondre like a million times on my Trapper Keeper. Really? My grandpa, he was a peanut vendor at WrestleMania 4, and he and Bondre really hit it off. And he said Bondre the Giant's wiener was like a foot long. <laughs> if your grandfather was a peanut vendor, what was he doing in the wrestler's locker room? Um, my mom said I wasn't supposed to talk about it with anybody outside the family. Anyway... Did you know Bondre was over seven feet tall? And he had a posse, and he weighed more than my Aunt Mabel. See, he suffered from acromegaly, a rare disease that results in an overabundance of growth hormones. Hmm. You sure know a lot about Bondre the Giant. I should. See, uh, me and Bondre are best friends. Uh, don't you mean were? No, we still are. I'll call him on the phone right now. Yeah, and, and Dredd, is your daddy home? Oh, you and Bo Bogan are wrestling right now, huh? Tell the Bulkster I'm sorry for kicking his wimpy butt last year. He's telling Bo Bogan what I said. <laughs> Bogan sounds really mad. Oh, really? That's nice, Bondre the Giant. I think you're my best friend, too. <laughs> well, gotta go. Bye. Larry, I hate to break it to you, but Bondre the Giant's been dead for like ten years. 
that's what Bo Bogan wants you to believe. Then who was I talking to on the phone? Oh, I don't know. No one? How about I just call Bondre the Giant back? And tell him you called him a nobody. I bet he'd take the first flight over here and deliver a big boot to the back of your head personally. Come on, Larry. It's not like I'd fall for that sad little trick anyway, even if he was alive. Really? I thought it was working. No. You know, it's really cute how you go out of your way to impress me. I think you're ready. There's something I'd like to try with you. You understand how that makes any sense? <laughs> Not really. Oh god. What what? Oh, is this um slaps? I don't understand how this works, I've forgotten. I don't, I've forgotten how this works. Not feeling very competitive today, are we? Wow, you suck. Worst game ever. Okay. Oh no, I'm mostly stripped down myself. Mmm, I'll try well. Not, not feeling very competitive today, are we? Wow. You suck. Warrior is about to die. Yes, I would like to play again. Don't get what I did wrong. Worst game. I don't understand this game. I did power it up, but I don't know. I didn't. I don't know what the activate button for slapping is on half these controllers now. Fuck it, I'm wimping out. Right, here we go. I'm just going to turn.